Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast brought to you by the last man standing with loserpool.com. And loserpool.com has got a brand new blog section where you'll be able to read uh, some fantastic work from some of the people that are involved, including myself. I'll be putting some articles up on there, so please stay tuned for the links. I'm sure you'll enjoy uh, what we have to say over there. And while you're there, you might as well sign up because it's a great game. It's a fantastic game. You can play against your mates play against randomers um it's really cheap to enter and you stand a chance of winning a really really solid amount of money so i would uh, advise you to check it out sign up if you haven't done so already right the reason for today's stream um is because we're going to be talking about a player that arsenal uh, are being linked with pretty heavily at the moment and that is the ukrainian defender mikola matvienko um of course he plays for shakhtar donetsk at the moment and it's understood that arsenal are trying to broker a deal uh, for the ukrainian uh that would see him come to the emirates this month now it's understood that the ukrainian giants shakhtar donetsk don't want to do a loan deal um they want him to uh move to Arsenal on a permanent basis so that they can, of course, collect their money. But it's understood that Arsenal are not too keen on that, A, because they simply don't have the funds, and B, because I guess um, they're looking to structure their payments in a certain way to cope with the sort of layout that they made last summer. Um, you know, there was lots of deals done with instalments, um, and that kind of skews the figures a little bit. So it's a little bit unclear as to what Arsenal actually have available to spend at the moment. We understand, though, that they are pushing for a loan deal with the obligation to buy the player at the end of the season, uh, which would, of course, see him join us on a permanent basis. It's kind of like just getting your man in advance. It's understood that they'd have to pay a fee of around five or six million pounds if that was going to happen. Um, which would almost be like a sort of deposit for, for uh, Matt Vienko. Now, I've got to be honest, I don't know a great deal about uh, Mikola Matt Vienko. He's not a player that's necessarily been on my radar before, but it's understood that Mikel Arteta has been an admirer of his for quite a while. And that's because Shakhtar Donetsk faced Manchester City a couple of times in the Champions League. Um, it's also understood that Mikel Arteta was tasked with um, having a good look at the player as somebody that Manchester City um, might have gone after as well. Um, what I've done, though, I'm going to share with you guys, those of you that are watching us on YouTube, I'm going to share with you an article for 19, from 90 Min, um, which, of course, uh, details a little bit more information about Matt Vienko and will help us to understand the type of player that Arsenal are looking at. And for those of you listening on the audio, do not fear. Uh, we're going to go through all the points um, listed. Uh, I'll put the link uh, for the article in the description below as well, um, of course so that you guys can refer back to it in your own time. But it's a good piece of work um, from Ross Kennelly. Now, um, it talks about the fact that he is rated at £30 million by Shakhtar Donetsk. Um, but it also talks about the fact that Arsenal are eager to broker a loan deal with an obligation to buy him at the end of the season. He's just 23 years old, so he's got a big future ahead of him. Um, and then it goes on about uh, you know, the fact that Arsenal don't boast significant funds in this window and that paying an initial fee of uh, 4.5 million uh, with the remainder to be due in the summer is what the Arsenal are looking to do. Now, in this piece, they've listed five things uh, that you should know about Mikola Matvienko. And I think this is really, really useful, particularly when it's a player that you maybe haven't seen on a regular basis. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and pretend that I know uh, everything about Matt Vienko because I don't. I, in fact, I, I know hardly nothing about him. I've heard the name, um, you know, that's about as far as my knowledge of him goes. I know he's left-footed um, from what I've read. But let's de uh, delve into this information a little bit. Now, it says he's creative. Now, Mitt Vienko has made 26 key passes in 35 games this season, which is incredible for a central defender. He talks about his ability to break up play. Um, and it talks about the fact that he's able to help them build counter attacks. But for a central defender to make that many key passes, that's pretty impressive. And it tells you a story about the technical ability of this lad. And that kind of goes hand in hand with why Pep Guardiola and Mikel Arteta were said to be such big fans of this player. So we know he's creative. We know he can make key passes. Um, 
He's a regular fixture for the Ukrainian national side uh, since making his debut back in 2017. He's gone on to make 20 appearances for the Ukraine um, and performed superbly during their qualification campaign for uh, the summer's European Championships. Uh, so there's obviously high hopes for him in his home nation. They believe that he is a top, top player in the making. Um, and uh, yeah, the, so the, the Ukrainian opinion of him is sky high, as you'd expect. Versatility. Now, although he's made his living playing on the left side of central defence, Matt Vienko is equally capable of slotting in at left back. That's because he is left footed. But it also talks about his ability to play in that defensive midfield position. And when you talk about defenders who are capable of stepping into the midfield, we're talking about people like David Lewis. And the reason we say that they can step into those positions is because of their superb technical ability. So again, it reiterates the point that this lad is very good on the ball, very good in possession, very competent, but also the other qualities that you require at centre-back, like being able to read the game, being mobile, being able to get around the pitch are also key as well. And this would suggest that Mikola Matvienko has all of those things. Uh, moving on, uh, it talks about his reading of the game, and I've touched on that just now, but his reading of the game is said to be his best asset, something that we can take great encouragement from, because I think at times we've lacked that. Um, we probably haven't had a centre-half who's very good at reading the game, I would say, probably since Per Mertesacker, because there was one season where Per Mertesacker was really, really good. And that would be the one thing that you would say, you know, was was his strength, was reading the game, made up for his lack of pace and lack of mobility in that sense. So as far as uh, Matt Vienko goes, it's understood that that is a real, real asset of his. I think David Lewis is a pretty good reader of the game, um, but I think at times he's made rash decisions and we've seen an upturn in his performances. Hopefully that can continue also. Um, Moving on to the final point, which is Mikel Arteta courted him for Manchester City. Now, people might think that this move has come out of the blue. It hasn't um, because Manchester City have been looking at this player for a while. And Mikel Arteta was tasked with finding out a little bit more about him, um, uh, you know, about his strengths, about his weaknesses. And it appears that Mikel Arteta has taken that knowledge, brought it with him to the Emirates Stadium and is now encouraging the board uh, to have a look at this player and see if they can get a deal done. Just to reiterate the key points before we wrap up, Mikola Matvienko, Shakhtar the next central defender linked with a move to Arsenal. Shakhtar understandably want to sell the player on a permanent basis and get their funds in. But Arsenal, however, want to do a sort of structured deal. They want to take the player on loan by paying a fee of around about £5 million pounds um, at this uh, at this point, and then look to pay the rest of the thirty million pounds that the Ukrainian side rate him at later on, and by later on I mean in the summer. So in total, we're looking at around about a fee of thirty million pounds. That is what is being reported. Of course, Mikel Arteta was quizzed about this in his press conference earlier today. Whilst he didn't give a great deal away, as Mikel Arteta never does, what he did say was. That you know, when asked about this deal specifically, that it was a very complicated transfer negotiation, and he would give us news when there was news, suggesting that maybe there is some truth in this. Maybe this is going on in the background. Maybe negotiations are ongoing. We understand that with the loss of Callum Chambers, Arsenal wanted to get a centre half in. Maybe they were prepared to wait to the summer, and perhaps this has changed their plans. And so now they're looking to do a deal in which. Matt Vienko would arrive at the Emirates prior to them paying the whole fee. That is what we're led to understand um, at this moment in time. Again, this is all transfer speculation. We don't have any concrete evidence of this um, other than the multiple reports that are doing the rounds at the moment. But I thought I'd bring you guys up to date. Um, for those of you who have been busy working away this Friday and haven't had a chance to catch up with the latest news. So that is it. Mikola Matvienko could be on his way to the Emirates Stadium. guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. 
you know the drill by now and we'll be back very very soon with more some information coming regarding a commentary broadcast that we'll be doing for the Bournemouth game in the FA Cup via the Hot Mic app so you could uh, tune in and enjoy that game with us as well um, but we'll be bringing you some info on that in the next couple of days or so uh, we'll be back very soon with more enjoy your weekends have a great Friday night whatever it is you're doing um, whether it's going out in the town or chilling out in front of the TV um, enjoy the, the weekend's FA Cup football and uh, we'll be back soon with more till then ciao